easiest. Hello? Hello? I can't, hello? Can you hear me, baby? It's you, Gwen. Oh, you're changing it. Oh, okay. sorry, yeah. <laughs> okay, you were changing it. Yes. Hey, baby, you look Hi. good. What's your name, honey? Is it Gwen? Yes, my name's Gwen. Gwen, where are you calling us from? North Dakota. North Dakota, what do you do for a living, love? I'm a nursing student. A nursing student? Yeah. So you're right. Do you not work? I work as a nursing assistant at a nursing home. Got you. How old are you, Gwen? I'm 34. 34. Do you have any children? I have one. I have a six-year-old boy. Six-year-old boy. What's your zodiac yeah. sign? Capricorn. Capricorn. Yeah. All right. You look cute. This is Gwen, North Thank Dakota. You. Nursing student, 34. Capricorn has a six-year-old yeah. son. What kind of yeah. man are you looking for, love? 45 and up. <laughs> Child, we got right to it. So yeah. you want to date 10 years older? Preferably 15, but I'll settle for 10. <laughs> wow. So nobody your age? No, definitely not. Mm -mm. You want to just break that down? I'm just curious. Um, I think it's better to do half your age plus seven for a man. Half your age plus seven for a man. Yes. Wisdom, knowledge, leadership skills. I need all of that in my life. I can't so, do the blind leading the blind. Yeah. Okay. Is your child's father older than you? No. And that's where I learned. My, my ex-fiance was 50. So I'm looking for 45 and up. Yeah. So you were engaged when you were, when he was 50, how old were you? 33. So what happened with that? See, that seemed promising until there was a lot of like incompatibility issues. It, he, he had a violent streak. And for myself, I match energy and we just weren't a good fit. Okay. You weren't a good fit. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, um, okay. So that was, that's a requirement. 15 years or older. Any other things you want to put up there? Um, I'm just looking for someone who's kind, who doesn't have any addiction issues, who doesn't struggle with alcohol or drugs. I don't drink. I don't do drugs. And I'm looking for someone who's genuinely kind, a family man. I prefer a man with children as well. That has kids already? Yes. Do you want more kids or no? Um, no, but I would negotiate that. Um, I prefer him to have children. The more, the better. With one or two baby mothers, no more than that. All right. What's your... <laughs> so did we do your deal breakers? Um, my deal breakers are addicts and people who are violent. And anybody that's your age. Yeah. I'm just, I'm 34, but I feel like it's better when the man is older than me because I can learn so much. He can lead me. He can guide me. That's what I need in my life. Okay. Well, this is yeah. interesting because I always love when women like you come on because men in the position that you're requesting, like mm -hmm. a 50 year old man, a 50 year old man comes on the show and says, I want somebody mm -hmm. 15 years younger. Usually right. gets a lot of hell in the comment section from the cousins. But you are the woman he's searching for. That you Yeah. Are the one, that if I can just say one thing, all the time when you see a divorce, they go for younger. So if I'm already the younger, I'm not going to be replaced. <laughs> yeah. Okay. She got it worked out in her head, child. Okay. Yeah. Um, I can be everything, you know. <laughs> you can be everything. Is there a financial requirement? Um, no. I'm going to say no because... I've seen a lot of people say six figures, but after taxes, it, it doesn't really, I don't know. I, I'm going to say no. I just want it to be 60, 40, 60, 40. I'll put in 40%. You put in your 60 and we're good. It doesn't matter what you earn. So that just has to work out somehow. Okay. Did I ask you about appearance? Does he have to look a certain way? Um, I'm six foot. I'm six foot, 190 pounds, size 10, very curvy at the hips. Um, <laughs> I, 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 and you're, and you're, how much you weigh? 190 and I'm six foot. Yeah. 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 That's a, well, yeah. let's see if you came all the way. Are you standing? Or are you sitting? Oh, I'm sitting down. I would like to be with someone who is five, nine and up, not too tall, five, nine and up. Five, nine and up. Okay. Yeah. Can we do the Kendra cam? Sure. I don't know how much of my body I can get. You're the real, you're, you're, well, Megan Stallion's tall too. So I yeah. can't believe Megan Stallion. She's actually yeah, really so tall. It's hard for me to get on the camera, but I'm a, I'm a good, I'm in shape. 
<laughs> no, we can see it. You look great. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. And you're beautiful. Thank you for having me. Thank you, Gwen. All right. So when was your last relationship, honey? Um, I just broke an engagement last month. Oh, why, oh this is the man that you was 50, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. Was that the last time you was intimate with someone? Yes, that is right. It was an exclusive relationship for about a year. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what are three flaws you think you have to work on? Oh, three flaws. I should not be matching energy ever unless it's a positive energy. I need to learn to negate and be um, wise as a spouse to not inflate situations. So that's one of my flaws. The other flaw that I have is at times I get too worked up from work-related problems that have nothing to do with home life. And I need to learn to separate the two. And the last flaw that I would say I have is sometimes I do too much. Um, I like to go over the top with decorating things and meals and all that. And that increases household expenses. Okay. Okay. And why would a guy be lucky to be with you? I think I've learned from my mistakes and through the teachings of, I don't want anybody to hate me, but Kevin Samuels. And I feel like you say a lot of the same things he says, but I've learned so much over the years that I know how to be a good helpmate. I know the importance and the role of a wife and a spouse. And I feel like I can be a great wife to somebody who's looking for that. I'm not a girlfriend. I don't want to be anybody's girlfriend. I've learned how to be a good helpmate. You want to be a good helpmate. So what do you think you yeah. learned? Like, what were you doing different that you were wrong before you believe? matching energy is a huge thing that can destroy any relationship. So if your husband comes home and he's upset from work, it's not personal. And, you, and my job is to help diffuse his tension, help him feel relaxed and calm and not be like, oh, he's mad. And so I want him to acknowledge something I've done and he's not paying me attention. It's not about me. I've learned not to make everything about me and to focus more on my mate, on my spouse, to cater more to him because the better I do at catering to him, the better he does at running the household. So that's something that I've learned. Okay, fair enough. All right, yeah. Gwen, Gwen, Gwen know what she wants, child. Yeah. You know, you to be in North Dakota? <laughs> yeah, I'm in North Dakota to finish school. He does not have to be here. I'm not staying here. I am totally like free to travel. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, she's 34, yeah. Capricorn, nursing mm -hmm. student, has a six-year-old boy. Um, she's very adamant she wants to date. 15 years ideally is what she would like to date. She'll settle for 10 years older. Yes. But definitely older. That is a must. Doesn't yes. care about your income. Just wanted to be 60, 40. And let's yes. do it. How could the guy reach out to you, honey? I have an Instagram. I am Hot Sunday. If I can explain my name, I used to be a singer in New York. That's where the name comes from. It's not some sort of scandalous story. I was a singer. <laughs> and you my have name to. is Hot Sunday. You don't have huh? to because you're not up here as a singer, but my oh, okay. my desire wants to know if you would give us 20 seconds of you singing. But you don't have to because you didn't say you were a singer. Now. I'll sing something. I'm okay. so nervous, but I'll sing something. All right. I'll sing something. Okay. Remember those walls of bills. Well, baby, they're tumbling down. They didn't even put up a fight. It didn't even make a sound. I found a way to let you in. That's it. <laughs> I'm nervous. Sorry. <laughs> um, wait. Oh, God. It's a Beyonce song. Um, yeah. I okay, used to sing in song. the train stations and I would when I was young. And that's what I would sing. So. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Good for you. All yeah. right. But now you're yeah. a nurse. That's the most important yes. thing for you. Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right, boo. So listen, guys. I yeah. am hot to tea Sunday on IG is the way to reach out to her. Okay, Gwen, I want you to come back to give me an update how it goes. Okay. okay? Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay. Bye. Bye.